Welcome to the Apple Daily News. This podcast is created by Generative AI. Today is November 4th, 2024, and we've got a lineup of fascinating stories from the world of Apple technology. As always, links to all stories can be found in the episode notes. Let's kick things off with some exciting news about the MacBook Pro. According to Bloomberg's Mark Gurman, Apple is planning a complete redesign of the MacBook Pro, set to debut in 2026. This comes as part of Apple's typical four-year design cycle. Initially expected in 2025, the redesign has been delayed due to issues with display technology. The new model will feature OLED displays, similar to the new M4 iPad Pros, and a sleeker, thinner design. It's expected to be powered by the M6 chip, built on a 2 nanometer process, promising significant performance enhancements. Meanwhile, the 2025 models will see only minor updates with the M5 series chips. Speaking of chips, Apple's M4 Max has taken the lead in single-core benchmarks, outperforming competitors like Intel's Core Ultra 9 285K and AMD's Ryzen 9 9950X. The M4 Max scored impressively in Geekbench 6, showing a 30% improvement in single-core and 27% in multi-core performance over its predecessor, the M3 Max. With 16 CPU cores and 40 GPU cores, it's designed for demanding tasks in fields like data science and 3D modeling. However, this power comes at a price, with the MacBook Pro featuring the M4 Max starting at $3,999. Shipping begins on November 8, 2024. In other hardware news, Apple has unveiled the M4 and M4 Pro Mac Minis, positioning them as viable alternatives to traditional gaming consoles. These new models boast advanced graphics capabilities, with the M4 featuring a 12-core CPU and 16-core GPU, while the M4 Pro steps it up with a 14-core CPU and 20-core GPU. Starting at $699 for the M4 and $999 for the M4 Pro, these Mac Minis are more accessible than high-end gaming PCs. They're designed to appeal to gamers and creative professionals alike, supporting high refresh rates and resolutions. On the software front, Testers of Apple's new AI features in the macOS Sequoia beta have discovered plaintext JSON files containing prompts to guide the AI's behavior. These prompts aim to keep the AI helpful and accurate, with instructions to avoid hallucinating or fabricating information. While some features will be available early, like call transcription and text summarization, others, including an updated Siri, may not launch until next year. These AI features will require recent hardware such as an iPhone 15 Pro or devices with at least an Apple M1 chip. Turning to the world of augmented reality, Apple's plans for a more affordable version of its Apple Vision headset have been delayed beyond 2027. Initially slated for 2025, this budget-friendly headset was to feature lower-cost materials and reduced display resolution. Despite the delay, an updated Apple Vision Pro with the M5 chip is expected next year. Analyst Ming-Chi Kuo suggests that even with a lower price point, the budget headset might not achieve widespread success, reflecting the challenges Apple faces in the mixed reality market. In a concerning development, Chinese espionage is increasingly targeting Silicon Valley, with major tech companies like Google, Apple, and Tesla on high alert. A recent case involved a former Google engineer accused of stealing AI trade secrets. This rise in corporate espionage is linked to China's ambitions to become a tech superpower, especially amid U.S. export controls. The U.S. government is ramping up efforts to combat this threat with initiatives like the Disruptive Technology Strike Force. Lastly, let's touch on a legal battle involving spyware. Apple and Meta are entangled in complex legal challenges against spyware manufacturers like NSO Group. Apple's lawsuit against NSO has faced hurdles, while Meta seeks sanctions for non-compliance. The Foreign Sovereign Immunities Act complicates these cases, but recent UK rulings offer some hope for victims. The potential for disclosure in these lawsuits could impact the spyware industry's secrecy, possibly altering its landscape. That's all for today's episode of the Apple Daily News. We hope you found these stories insightful and engaging. Be sure to check the episode notes for links to all the stories we covered. Join us again tomorrow for more updates from the world of Apple technology. Until then, stay informed and stay curious.